friends welcome to code board and also welcome to another round of interview questions so in the last video we saw interview questions on data types variables and operators in this video we'll focus on conditional statements loops break and continue so for a fresher these questions are very important and very commonly asked so stay tuned for some very exciting and interesting interview questions so first one is very simple what are the three loops in java and if you're familiar through to java or if you've gone through the recent videos we know that the three loops are for loop while loop and do while loop now all of them obviously vary in their syntax and for and while in working are almost similar but there is a difference between while and do while loop in the way it works so what is the exact difference we'll see in the upcoming questions but it is important to understand that for while and do while are the three loops and understanding its syntax and how it works is also important so we have three different videos on all these topics if you haven't checked those videos yet please check the link is in the description box below but for the sake of this question three loops are for while and do while now the next question is most widely used and it is obvious in every interview what is the difference between while and do while loop so let's see so we have this while and do while loop now while is called as entry control loop and do while is called as exit control loop now these are the theoretical terms but let's see why so in while first the condition is checked and then the loop executes so as you can see in this example if i is less than equal to 10 then in then only the control is going to go inside the while loop so that is why it is entry control loop because the condition is checked first and then the loop is executed but in do while condition is checked at the end so first the loop executes then the condition is checked and now if the condition matches then in the second iteration it will go inside the loop so that is the difference in while loop condition is checked first and only if condition is true loop is executed but in do while first loop is executed and then the condition is checked in this way even if i is not less than equal to 10 the loop is going to execute at least once now the third question is there might be a chance where you are asked the real time example of do while loop so usually in lot of cases for and while is used but do while is very rarely used and where it can be used you must know so for example if you have a program to take input until the user enters zero so in that program we can use do while loop for example you you need to print a statement in the loop that please enter a number and once zero is entered the loop should exit but for printing the statement at least once you don't want to check any condition so that is why we use do while loop here so as you can see in this program first we print a condition enter a number and then we go on checking if number not equal to zero so same you can do for calculating the sum of numbers until the user enters zero so that is the real time example there can be many examples but for understanding purpose you or for interview purpose you can remember this that taking input from the user until it until he or she enters zero or calculating sum until the user enters zero our next question is again most commonly used what is the difference between break and continue or they can also ask you why do we use break and continue inside the loop so let's see the difference and understand each of them so we have break and in break it is used to exit the loop for a, for a condition if you want to exit the loop you use break for example here if you are printing numbers from 1 to 10 using a while loop and if i equal to equal to 5 then you want to break the loop that is you don't want to print the further numbers if one condition is matched in that case you can use break so the output of this uh, program is going to be 1 to 4 or if you have i initialized to 0 it is going to be 0 to 4 at 5 the loop is going to exit so break is used to terminate the loop opposite to this or a little different from this is continue continue is used to skip the iteration of the loop so if you write continue for i equal to equal to 5 the condition for i equal to 5 is not going to execute that loop or that iteration is going to be skipped so if i don't print or if i say i equal to equal to 5 for continue then the numbers are going to be printed from 0 to 10 but 5 won't be printed so in break 0 to 4 is going to be printed and in continue 
except 5 all numbers will be printed so this is this is the basic difference between break and continue the next question is what happens if we write switch without break first of all can we write switch without break yes we can write switch without break but if you don't write break all the cases are going to be executed which is unnecessary sometimes so even if one condition is matched all the cases are going to be executed so for example if you have multiple uh, like multiple cases from like 1 to 12 and so for example if you are printing month that respective of that number and uh, if your month matches for example two matches you don't need to check the other conditions that was that is the reason we apply break in the switch statement and if you don't apply break all the conditions are going to be checked when to use switch statement over if now this is also one of the most uh, widely used questions like if switch statement is better than if and when to use switch statement over if but we cannot say both have their respective pros and cons but yes you need to remember that if you are checking against the list of multiple values switch statement is always better to use so and if you are checking boolean conditions like less than and equal to you obviously need if because that we cannot do in switch but if you're checking if the number is equal to 1 or 2 or 3 or a string is equal to January, February and so on in that case you can easily use switch because that is going to work in a more better way so for example displaying month or a week from a number in that case switch is always always better than writing the long list of ladder or the long ladder of if so question 7 is can we have two identical cases inside switch for example if I write case 1 and case 1 again and if I write two different statements in both the cases that is not valid. So basically you cannot have similar cases inside the switch statement. The clear answer is no. The next question is asking what will be the output of the following program. So we have a for loop without initialization, execution or incremental condition then is it going to throw error or will it print something? So basically for loop without any condition is considered as infinite loop. So in this case, one is going to be printed infinitely. It is not going to stop. So that is the case here. If you don't mention any condition, it is infinite loop in Java. This question is what is nested or what are nested for loops in Java? So when you have loop inside loop, it is nested for loop. For example, here we have two for loops, a for loop that is outer for loop and inside that we have the inner for loop. This is the program for printing two dimensional arrays. So it is going to print the output in multiple rows and columns. So in that case we use nested for loops. We also have a program for prime numbers and printing prime numbers from 1 to 100 where we are checking we are taking uh, first the input prime numbers from 1 to 100 using a for loop and for each number we are going to check its prime condition whether it is prime or not using another for loop. So there also we have used nested for loop. If you haven't watched that video please watch the link is in the description box below. So basically simply loop inside loop is a for loop and you can practice many more examples with nested for loops. Similarly, it is asking, can we have nested switch? That is also possible. Yes, we can have nested switch. Again, we have a switch that is outer switch condition. And inside each case, we can have another switch case. And in this way, switch inside switch is a nested switch case. It is rarely used, but it is good to know. So guys, this was some interview questions on condition, conditional statements, loops, break and continue. If you know some more questions that can help your friend, please mention them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions, do mention them in the comment section until we come up with new videos. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video. Thank you.